country. Now Sangakara was gifted his hundred, and in the process, he was saying get back, but it was too late to Murley. Now he goes down, takes his hundred, and uh, he's only content for one. And Murley's only content for one as well. Let's be perfectly honest. He knew there was never a second run there. And to his absolute surprise, he looks around and Murley's been run out by Brendan McCullum. McCullum gives uh, Murley a pat on the back as if to say, silly boy. Murley was never running. The umpire in the background was basically motioning to Murley to get back as he walked in towards him, Martin, which I imagine confused him anyway. Yes, I think that the umpire was walking in, which is uh, unusual. And, uh, well, he's walking in because he's going to the other side to be square-legged to Murley. But he's confused Murley by the fact that he's walking in. Murley thinks the ball's dead and now looks behind, having touched down to secure Sangakara's 100. The umpire says, no, get it, mate, uh, because you'll be run out, and you are. And that's all a bit silly, isn't it? And uh, I think Murley was confused by the fact that uh, Jerling was walking and instead uh, the ball was alive and McCullum took the bales off. Look at it again. This is uh, Sangakara turned the ball quietly around the corner. Easy single. Bring up a, a wonderful century. Quite outstanding. He's got down the other end. He looks behind to see Murley touch down, and then Murley thinks the ball's dead. Jerling is walking in to go to the other side, but at the same time, he's motioning to Murley to, you better get back because the ball's still alive, mate. He can't do that. He can't motion to a batsman to get And then back. he motioned him in, in another way. He said, now you're out. Well, bad motions, that's all I can say. <laughs> and Sangakara can't believe it even though he gets the single to, needed to take him through to